though. Oh, you haven't. Don't worry. This is actually my Halloween version. This is Buffy. Hi, and how are y'all doing? I hope that uh, tonight, tonight I'm going to be going over some new things that are a little bit of different twist of Halloween version of drinks for me. And I just thought maybe what could I do to give you guys a new twist of a taste of for adults uh, to enjoy themselves what, during a party or a special events that wherever you're doing, holding a Halloween event. So let's go ahead and get started. What I decided to do is give myself a new flavor, something different, something enjoyable. And I thought, well, you know, kids get to go uh, outside, you know, out and trick or treat, and you know, we have to watch them. We have friends that you trust will let them go, and everything. Don't you know? You know, feel like you kind of feel left out. You're not. Oh gosh, I used to trick or treat, and I don't know how. You know, and kind of, you, you miss those days. Well, what if I bring trick or treat to you? So the drink is called trick or treat. And this is a Halloween version of a drink. And we're going to get right into it. And don't feel, this is like a little too much. Oh my God, there's a lot. And you can see the whole, uh, every, uh, everything that you see around me is actually decorated for Halloween. Oh, and this guy here, he's my boyfriend. He's just hanging in there watching over my shoulder. So. I decided, let's go ahead and get started in this new drink called Trick or Treat. And it's going to be fun. And you have choices of glasses and everything. I would actually thought maybe you put in something like this. But this is actually the drink is called uh, the Fire and Ice that I've done from the last video. Please, stay, uh, please watch that to get an idea how to make this. So we're going to make the Trick or Treat tonight. And we're going to use the uh, pint sized glass. Kind of like, a, you know, one of those uh, drawers you can use for canning. And everything it's an idea it doesn't have to be a perfect drink it's a trick or treat so we're going to go ahead and get started with the raspberry vodka one shot and all my drinks here are de labeled to stick sticky with a sticker of my special kind because i figured hmm, you know just for protection and to keep myself uh you know you know you know stay out of trouble from not having to use their brand i decided to go ahead and use my sticker as say uh, like little fancy kisses so we're going to go ahead and put one shot, it's one of those nights, <laughs> uh, you're going to put one shot of raspberry vodka, you're going to put two shots of ginger ale, and I try to keep this drink as closely as possible, as clear, so you can see my special surprise I got in here in the little bowl here. You'll get to see it in just a minute. So we got two shots of that. We have two shots of Colin mix. Looks like this kind of thing. It just says Colin. And then you're going to go ahead and do about a half shot of lime juice uh, so you can get just a little bit of citrus taste into it. Again, we are working with uh, drinks that are pretty much our carbonation at the end, so you don't want to shake this when you do this uh, in, in a cup like this. So you basically want to swirl up a lot of it, you know, just, just kind of swirl around it when you get to it. We're going to do a half shot of lime juice just to give it a little bit of citrus kick. And then you're going to go ahead and add half shot of the uh, club soda uh, water. And you're asking, why in the world are you putting water in this little drink? It's just, it's just added extra carbonation just because it's clear and it kind of gives you a little bit of, hmm, see, I told you, kind of gives you a little bit of extra flavor of, it talks to you. It's like, hey, hi. <laughs> so you do a half shot of this. And then you're going to go ahead and do about three shots of white champagne. Okay, there you are. Okay. 
you don't you don't really have to you know use this but I mean it's gonna put a little bit in there so I'm gonna go ahead and put one two and just a smith more just because I put a little bit in there don't feel bad okay now you got all this in there and you're probably saying what is that sham board uh, this little thing over here is doing on here why did she not put that in don't it's just a uh, there for looks and and then you're going to go ahead and add some ice to it you know, thing. And then with this drink, like I said, you want to uh, basically swirl this drink, okay? And like I said, we're going to put it in this pint-sized glass just to kind of give it a little extra thing. We have a little surprise in here. And you know, I did tell you, this is a trick-or-treat kind of thing. So this is your treat, and this is your trick drink. So you just kind of swirl it around. You say, what about the eyes? Don't worry. It's coming right on up. So basically, let I say we have a little treat over here. And then, I mean, that's a treat and this is the trick. Well, I went to the store and I decided to uh, go ahead and get some little festive ice tray. Basically, you've got one that looks like skull and you got one that looks like brain. You can get them in your Halloween aisle. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of like that. And there's your brain. And then, how do you make it look so, like, red? So, basically, with this, it's like a little uh, uh, flavored water that you can find in a beverage aisle. It looks like this. And it does look like Kool-Aid, so you're getting, but it actually is water. So, you do is you go ahead and you open this up, and you put it in this tray just a little bit, you know, around. And throw it in your freezer about a couple times, uh, you know, for X amount of time, whatever it needs to be done uh, to be ready. And then you just go ahead and just kind of do that again. And then, once you've got all of that down, it comes looking like a brain. You have one there. there. See, I told you, this is your ice cube. So you don't have to worry about adding, you know. So we're going to go ahead and add, you know, like a little bit of each. Oh, and see, there's a skull. There's your tr uh, trick. And... Your treat. Add as much as you want. Just kind of just give it a little bit. Of, I don't have time waiting for all of this. So once you get this done and you kind of throw all those mixtures of that thing. As you can tell, I love my decoration. You can see all the skeletons and everything. They're just my little friend who keeps me company. So basically you're going to, you got two things. Oh, look at that. See? As it melted, it's going to make it look like a trick and treat. Got two types of drink, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks really good, doesn't it? We're going to get to the taste in just a second. So you get, I can see and give you guys my thing. And I'm going to use a straw. Because I have my lips in. Beautiful. And I'm going to mess it up. My makeup. So basically, what do we have here? We have a little shampoo. And it's making all drinks. So basically, you just need to put just a smidge of this. Just a teeny tiny drop. Just a very, you just kind of go, mm. and up. There we go. See? Just like that. Not very much. And you're going to do the same thing with the, this uh, blackberry the, uh, liqueur that looks like this bottle. And you just do just a smidge of this. Just to kind of throw an extra trick to it. And you get it. Trick and treat. You get your own little trick kind of treat. I have a drink and it all is in one little glass. So now that we have all of this mixed into this wonderful cup, let's give this a shot and see how you, I like it. Mm. That's a different taste. That is really good. It does taste like trick or treat. Very sweet. But then I get to enjoy my little friends inside that ice cube. It's going to be melting away. That looks like blood in the, this wonderful glass so anyways now that you've seen this drink that i made last you know video is called fire and ice and that video will kind of entice you and encourage you to try and make that yourself now this video is going to show you how to make trick or treat for halloween and now
see, I dress for the part. And I get my drink. I'm ready to go party. Regardless of where I go. It's just me and my lovely self at nighttime while my kids are asleep and everything. I got my trick or treat, my drink. And I enjoy this wonderful night. And there's many more videos coming. And I got other new plans coming. Um, coming my way. Uh, and I will keep you all updated soon. And then um, also I will be starting a launching a video called um, my own uh, version of you know uh, basically I'm gonna be doing like movie critics like I've gotten some ideas from other people I've watched and how they do their movie critics so maybe not as perfect they are you know have all the equipment like they do but I will go ahead and do my own version of movie critics of movies that I will be watching and kind of come back with you guys to uh, stay update and I know there's a couple more Halloween videos coming on out and I will be enjoying the fact that I get to watch them and I'll give you my critic that will be my next launch to start going into that whole segment of Movie Critics by Buffy. But then, right now, you have now seen my five parts of all my uh, drinks that I put together and hopefully you guys get encouraged to make your own kind of drink and be inspired and then show others and then pass it on. Maybe uh, this will help you in your little bar uh, or for your customer or for your party or at the dinner party, wherever occasion that you choose this for. And on top of that, you have parties are coming up and this holiday. And I hope you all have a wonderful, happy and safe Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. And then, of course, Happy New Year soon. So... I hope you all enjoy all my video segment on my Happy Halloween and many other drink videos and many more to come. And hope you enjoy this wonderful trick and treat drink. And not to mention the fact is there's are other things coming up that I'm doing. It's called, uh, you can follow me uh, on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram and on over here, right? you sub subscribe to, to YouTube, so I would be delighted to hear from your uh, comments and suggestions and feedbacks and see if you, how you like your trick or treat. Just see how, you know, you start out with a clear and it melts into red. It's beautiful. Mm. And then, once you get to that state, um, get this word, word out and tell them that Buffy has showed you how to do it on her video and you can tell them to come sh watch it. And then, the more we work together, the more everybody will start liking what I put together for them, too. And now on top of that, you know where to find me on all different uh, social networking. And I do everything from Twitter, face, Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. You can subscribe. I would be so happy to hear from you. And again, this is Bubby. And I thank you for this wonderful time. A trick or treat for adults only and you don't have to feel left out because now you got your own trick or treat and your kids got trick or treat for themselves that are candy at least ours is better than boring candy we get the better sweet of the, the end of the bargain so anyways have a wonderful night and thanks for watching and i cannot wait to hear from you all and I hope you all enjoy this wonderful and enticing videos and everything I put together for you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.